time for brain cleanse massage. Woo! Ready for a new hairdo? I hope so, because it's going to change your head. I'm Marcy Jevril, and I'm a lymphatic massage specialist. And while we get more people here, I'll just draw your attention to your welcome packet on your seat. Um, if you open it up, you'll see your cheat sheet for what we're going to do today. It's called Brain Cleanse Massage, and I'm really proud of what I did here. What you're going to do is actually take notes on this, right? So I didn't draw it for you. You get to draw on it. When we get to the point where I'm demonstrating on myself, you'll get to watch you, me do it to yourself and draw on this, and then you'll do a partner setup, right? So, and it's all optional. If you don't want to work on a partner, you don't have to. So this is going to be your cheat sheet. And then inside of that, we have what is Melting Touch Method? And what are the FAQs for that? So here, but on the back of it, in your welcome packet, is a really important part, which is the contraindications for lymphatic massage, which is a detox, and it works with your immune system and your congestion. So if you have an infection or an active fever, or herpes, or you're on radiation, so you might want to take a look at these and decide at the break if you're going to have somebody partner with you or you're just going to take it easy tonight. So these are just cautionaries and contraindications. And then the rest of the packet is my PR for you. And so I have my little card, and then I'm offering a meetup, which is about breast cancer prevention because lymphatic massage is really great for the breasts. Did you know that? You didn't know that? I can clear up a cloudy mammogram. If you've had a cloudy mammogram and it's probably not cancer, a lot of them are. We can maybe clear it up with lymphatic massage. Please. And men can get breast cancer too, correct? Pardon? Men can get breast cancer too, yes. And then the final card in there is about my book and my services and my rates. So that's all in the welcome packet. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Brain Cleanse Massage. So again, my name is Marcy Gevril. I'm a lymphatic massage specialist, and I'm really, really happy to be here at the Expressive Arts and Therapy Summit because my background started with dance therapy. And I realized being here, I had a whole different speech set up, and I told my friend Tara, I said, you know what, I think I'm just going to tell you my story of my experience being here. It's pretty incredible. Because I realized that um, <clears throat> through my teenage years and through my uh, 20s, I did a lot of dance and performance art and, and all of that. And then I went to college. And I got a degree in dance therapy, and I thought, oh, isn't this great? And I wanted to come and really interact with people in this connected way, in this compassionate way. And I had an undergraduate degree from Columbia College. Have a seat. Thank you. And with that undergraduate degree, I had gotten it from uh, the charter member from ADTA. Her name was Jane Gannett Siegel. And she created a course for me, and I had a great time. I did clinical work. And I got out of college, and I wanted to work in California, and I came out here, and I volunteered for the Neuropsychiatric Institute. <laughs> and I found out Prop 13 had devastated the arts in the school. Why? They were so important. I had a gig. I worked with the San Fernando Valley Education Center, working with behavior problem kids. And at the time, they didn't want to call me a dance therapist. I'm not going to dance therapy. I'm going to... Play therapy. And they actually, that's what they said to me, that I'm going to play therapy. This was back in the 80s, 1979, 80. So, but I tried to get into the master's program. And when they interviewed me and they reviewed everything, and then they turned me down, and I was like, well, how did I get turned down? I took an undergraduate degree. They said, well, we think you're too, like, your movements aren't pedestrian enough. And they might, um, they might, you know, put people off, and I said, really? <laughs> and so they said, you should go back to performance art, and I said, all right, I will. And so I did. When I started performing, I started getting injured, and so I started studying body work. I started studying healing. I started wanting to clean my toxic body. I started to teach people how to do that, but 
what I realized was they needed integrative therapy. They needed expressive arts therapy, even in the massage school. So I'm really excited tonight to bring my play therapy that I've actually instilled in everything I've done secretly all these years to you guys because um, this is a biomechanical thing. It's actual science. It's not woo-woo. We're working with the lymphatic system. Anybody know what the lymphatic system is? Yay, we got some people. So what I like to call it is it's your invisible shower. It's what's going on inside of your body every moment, washing and cleansing every cell. It comes out of the blood capillaries as plasma and goes out and grabs all the big stuff. And instead of going back through the veins, it goes back through the lymph capillaries and then it goes through all the lymph nodes and it gets filtered and it's like that gray water filtration system. Right? And it gets recycled and goes back to the blood. It goes back, back through. So your blood plasma is your lymphatic fluid. All right. Back to the lymphatic system, your invisible shower, your gray water return. Your internal plumbing takes care of the silt that comes out of your internal shower. And it goes down to your colon. So I want to warn you, this is why you've got the contraindications in there. If you've got any congestion going on, any sinus infection, any chest congestion, any belly indigestion, you may end up with slippery shits. <laughs> because all the silt in the lymphatic system has to go to the solid waste material outlet, which is down here, your garbage disposal switch. So what I teach people is I teach the whole body. I teach the belly, the chest, and the head. And uh, one of the things that you're gonna get in your PDF is this little guy here. It's a flashcard download from my website, actually, yogaoftouch.com forward slash free. And it's just four bullet points about um, how to do lymphatic massage for all the torso. And in my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Marcy Gevril, and please come because there's a lot of videos there that will teach you about how to do all of this, including the one called The Best Head Massage You'll Ever Get or Give, which is basically what I've based the um, brain cleanse massage on. So when you go to my YouTube channel, you can take a look at that too. Um, oh yes, we're only going to be working from the shoulders up. And I have over here Purell and handy wipes and breath mints and stuff. But what we're gonna do is first we're gonna go over what's in the PDF and some of the anatomy. And then we're gonna take a break. And after the break, we're gonna come back and uh, reconfigure a little bit so everybody can see. I'm gonna work on myself. And you're gonna work on yourself and take notes. And then you're gonna take a break and hopefully you've figured out if you're going to partner with somebody or not. So do that during the break or at some point. Because we're going to have a whole hour to do the brain cleanse massage. A whole hour. Yeah. And so that means 20 minutes for the solo and 10 minutes, 10 minutes, partner A, partner B, and then close. I hope, I hope. So if I stay on track. <laughs> okay, so stay on track. Um, <laughs> belly, chest, and head, arms and legs. It's all on the YouTube channels tonight. We're just focused on the head. And we don't need oil. Sometimes you use oil, sometimes you don't. With lymphatic work, it's very, very gentle. So, um, so PDF, brain cleanse massage with me. Here's what we're going to do. Here's the format, right? And it didn't come out well in your PDF, so you can, it's in, and here's my bio. Thank you. Here's the YouTube channel video to tell you about the head and the, the main discovery, which is... Ta-da! In 2015, they discovered a whole new anatomy part. What? Instead of having nothing in the head, it turns out <laughs> there is a lymphatic meningeal vessel in the head. Wow. And so that's another reason it's very exciting to me because all these years, what I learned from my teacher, Lauren Berry, 
has now been proven true that there is a connection between the head and the belly, a literal mm -hmm. connection of where the silt drops down, right? So you're going to see, you can look that study up. There's the link for it. And then uh, this just tells you again what I kind of just said. Um, and there's my book on Kindle. And then if you go to my website and sign up for the newsletter, you get one chapter free. And that talks about all the good things that you might do for yourself to cleanse your body, like dry skin brushing and good tea and good nutrition and um, things like this little guy. He's my favorite. Oh, so I have a whole video using this on my head to do the head massage. You can buy these on my website. You are a body of water, a lot, a big percentage of you. And you'll see here is the lymphatic system and um, all the little capillaries. And they're all over the body. And I, ha I have what I call the eight main water filtration stations, which are the backs of the knees, the popliteals. The inner groin, that's the inguinals, the armpits, the axillaries, right? And under the earlobes, the cervicals. So those main water filtration stations are where your lymph nodes are squeezing. Now, how does the lymph move? Anybody know? Well, the heart moves the blood, right? The lymph moves through muscle contraction and breathing. Oh, no wonder when I go to sleep, my lymph backs up and my head gets clogged and my legs feel soggy, right? Because, yeah. So then would Baker cysts behind the knees be connected to lymph? Yes, they are so lymph. They are lymph. 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 They are lymph. They are lymph. For sure. sure. They, and, and at night, then there they are getting more and more gravity. So uh, think of your body as being like a sandbag, right? Or a... Or a a fishbowl, right? So if you're sitting on your fishbowl, where does all the silt go? Where does all the gravel go where you're sitting, right? But if you're lying down, now you're an aquarium, right? So the back of your head, the back of your chest, right? The back of your knees, the heels, everything. So the back of everything. So in a hospital, if you're in a coma, then what do, the, what do they do, right? What do they do? They come over and they move your muscles. Why? Because the lymph only moves through muscle contraction. And so if there's no muscle contraction, it's going to build up. And so the more sedentary you are, and the less you move your legs. So we're going to focus, though, on the head. So other times we could do the rest. So here we go. And my teacher, Lauren Berry. And so it's different if you already know the Vodder system of lymphatic work. My teacher was Lauren Berry. He was very different. And I developed something I called melting touch method. You can see this in the book. And we're not going to go over that. But basically what he taught me was that from the head through the chest to the belly, there's this drainage pattern that you can do that will take all the silt out of the head and the mucus and in the lungs too. And he actually helped me get cured of bronchitis. So I was coughing in class and drained that girl. I was like, <laughs> what was that, you know? And so it turned out that he taught me this very. And try this right now. Take your hand and make like a little hula hand. Just go like this, like from the heel to the fingertips, the heel to the fingertips. So you're gonna do that right below. Take a deep breath right here. And as you exhale, just make a little hula hand down the descending colon. So that is actually how you would connect the chest massage to the belly massage. And we're going to connect the head massage to the chest massage when we do the neck. So that's coming, that's coming. Melting touch method, I actually made these illustrations. These are also from my book. So the drainage pathways, here's the ones for the head. So again, that's why I'm leaving these out tonight so that if you wanted to go take a look. Now this is the entire routine you're going to learn all on one page. And another anatomy drawing of what we used to think the brain had nothing in it for lymphatic. What? Now, God, God is creatrix, brilliant, creative intelligence that she is. How would she not? put a shower in the brain, <laughs> right? So we are now going to activate the shower in your brain. And I'm telling you, I believe this is going to change neuroimmunology, 
Alzheimer's, dementia, all the things we've talked about that might clog up the brain and proteins and things, right? Right, am I right? I see some nodding acupuncture. These are how you might do the massage if you were a massage therapist and working with a partner, but we're working standing up. So there's examples of how to do it lying down. And the main focus I'm going to talk about is your food tube that goes from the back of your neck to your tummy. And that's where the silt is coming from. It's coming down your food tube on the outside of your alimentary canal. Wow, you didn't know that. I didn't either. Um, here's a cranial sacral technique that we're going to do at the very, very end to just ground and give good energy to the back of the occiput. And if you're a cranial sacral person, you'll know, recognize this as CV4 or OA decompression. Nobody hears. So, <laughs> ah, a whole other language. What? <laughs> so, I really do appreciate being here amongst, um, well, I feel like I'm amongst, you know, friendly company, and, and even though I'm a massage therapist, I feel right at home here with expressive arts, so I hope you you will be your expressive art self in your body and be Soma tonight. And then just another note you'll see is that in drainage, in classical drainage, one quarter of the body drains to the right side, and three quarters drains to the left side. We don't have to worry about that because we're just doing the head. So I'm not going to complicate your life right now. Just know that. And then here's your guidelines for lymphatic detox if you want to continue to cleanse your life. This is basically what I did. I'll be 66 this year. What? 66! <laughs> <laughs> and so, I remember when she used to do 65. <laughs> so uh, that's how you get there. Follow those guidelines. That page turned into a 200-page book. Contraindications, space, so. just bibliography, and then use your own human resources, your own head, heart, and hands to heal yourself. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> okay.